welcome to another episode of Popular Technology, your source for information technology as well as careers in science, technology, engineering, and math. I'm your host, Sharon Morton, and we're excited to be on location here in Washington, D.C. at the historic Navy Yard, celebrating the 35th anniversary of the D.C. chapter of BDPA. Here at the awards banquet and fundraiser, we have information technology superstars and Hall of Famers, distinguished naval officers, college scholarship award recipients, BDPA sponsors and supporters, and so many more. And I'm going to be speaking with many of them during this episode of Popular Technology. Stay tuned, we'll be right back after these messages. This is not just a laptop. They're not usually this thin, this light, with great battery life. They don't let you touch and draw. Not like this. This is not just a tablet. It has a clicking keyboard and Microsoft Office. So you can do real work. This lets you run your favorite apps next to your favorite apps. This is the new Surface, the one device for everything in your life. And welcome back to Popular Technology. I'm Sharon Morton. This program is brought to you by BDPA, formerly known as Black Data Processing Associates. BDPA is known for promoting diversity in the information technology industry. Please visit BDPA.org or BDPAToday.org for more information. So we're really delighted that you're here with us. How do you feel after 35 years? Very excited, very proud of the Washington, D.C. chapter and very proud of BDPA overall. As it relates to careers in STEM, STEM is such a very broad topic. So with a lot of different positions, a lot of different uh, opportunities. So first of all, I would advise them to take a look at everything that's available in science, technology, engineering, and math, which comprises STEM. But uh, what we do here in BDPA is really a kind of twofold. We want to use, utilize our professionals who are already involved in industry and entrepreneurship and then you, utilize them to mentor some of our students because we provide a pool whereby the students can actually come and talk to professionals, find out what they're doing, find out what's going on in the industry so that then they can charter their careers according to what their interests might be. You and your company, FireEye, won 2013 Member of the Year. How do you feel about that? I think it's awesome. Anytime we can get back to the community and help kids in IT and that want to specialize in cyber, we're excited to be a part of that. And I'm just excited to be here for this event. And um, we specialize in cybersecurity, so um, we're very interested in, in recruiting talent from BDPA that, that's interested in cyber and mentoring kids that are in, interested in cyber as well. Um, we have a technology that um, you know, is bleeding edge and kids get really excited about it, so we want to make sure we do our fair share to let kids know that there are cybersecurity companies out there that are looking for their talents. Kids that are developing applications, those applications are being attacked. Um, and those are the best hackers, those developers, right? So we're looking for that kind of talent in our company. So we're, we're excited to be a part of BDPA so we can capture that talent and mentor them and mold them and intern them into our different positions that we have. Um, while they're in high school, uh, college, and you know, try to get them scholarship money and, and, and help them get that school funded because it's just so important that we do our fair share of mentoring the kids when they're at the, those early stages, especially in cybersecurity because the field is so new. Wow, what a lineup here at the DC Chapter's 35th Anniversary Awards Banquet. I hope that you're enjoying the show. Please stay tuned. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. I love photographing because it tells the story. In Kailisha, there are many stories. I started photographing in school. I came in Cape Town in 2006. It was difficult to find a job. I like to make my own business, but struggling to make it grow. I was afraid of business. I 
I didn't know how to market myself. They teach me how to make a flyer, how to make an invoice. It can change many lives of other people because it has a lot of material of business. I do feel certified now, but I need more. I get my confidence back when I do that course. Yeah. Thank you for staying with us here on Popular Technology. We've been interviewing some of the IT industry's most distinguished players as they are here at the Washington Navy Yard celebrating 35 years of community programs and services delivered to technology youth and professionals by the DC chapter of BDPA. Admiral Howard, it's a pleasure having you here at BDPA DC's 35th anniversary award ceremony. What kind of advice would you give to young women who are interested in pursuing careers in the military? It's the same advice I give to any young people. If you're looking for a life with purpose, and a life with fun and being able to go out and help people and make a difference in the world, the Navy is for you. Now we understand that you were an integral part of rescuing Captain Phillips in the movie Captain Phillips is Out. Um, tell us a little bit about that rescue mission and the types of technology that was involved. So in 2009, I took command of a counter piracy task force and it was an international task force. So we had U.S. Navy ships, Singaporean ships, Turkish ships, lots of countries involved. A few days into taking command, Captain Phillips was kidnapped, and it was our responsibility to get him back safe home to America. So that meant the integration of all of those ships, uh, particularly the Bainbridge, the Halliburton, the Boxer, Special Forces, uh, intelligence support platforms, uh, just trying to bring all of those uh, assets and people together to stay focused on the mission, figure out where the seams were, create the mission, figure out how to rescue him, and then bring him home safe. As far as the technology, it's, it's as modern as you can think of. So when ships are at sea, one of our primary things we have to be able to do is to be able to communicate ashore. So you're talking satellite communications, um, communications between the ships and communications to the special forces, very high-tech gear. And then for, uh, uh, in terms of all the gear we have on the ships, that's it's high-end, good stuff. And But for us, it's creating a, a picture, a sort of computer picture, where we all can understand what each other's doing. And, th and that and intelligence feeds that come into that picture are pretty important. I understand that you're a former student of the high school computer competition program, right. and you're still active with BDPA. Right. Tell us a little bit about your experience with HSCC and BDPA. Well, I, I like to think it was a good experience. Um, it, to me, if it wasn't for the BDPA, I don't know where I would be in my life. Um, I spent three years as a student from 2004 to 2006, um, learned a lot, uh, went, I had the great opportunity to travel. Um, so, if, like I said, if it wasn't for the BDPA, I probably wouldn't even pursue a um, career in technology. That's how much the BDPA has, had, has influenced me. Um, I like to come back and, and help the kids because I see a lot of them in my position when I was a high school student. Um, I have to admit that I was a little bit immature when I was younger, but I, like I said, I also see a lot of that in the students. So what I like to do is come back, you know, be sort of like a mentor to them and help them try to learn the material and, and you know, prepare them for the future in IT. Dr. Vimley, congratulations on your Lifetime Membership Award. You've joined us here at the BDPA DC Chapter's 35th anniversary. We're so excited to have you. You actually run the joint educational facilities for young people who are interested in STEM careers. Tell us just a little bit about Jeff. Jeff is a community organization. It's a 501c3 organization. And we teach basically high school students advanced computing, contemporary mathematics, robotics, and research skills. What do those students do with those skills? They eventually end up at the National Conference, if I'm not mistaken. What they do is they write up papers detailing their research, and those papers are published in the proceedings of national and international computing and engineering conferences. We're so happy that you're here, Dr. Bimley, helping to celebrate the D.C. Chapter's 35th anniversary. And again, congratulations on your Lifetime Achievement Award, as well as your professorship at Bowie State University. And thank you for all that you've done for BDPA. And thank you, for guys, for allowing me to do what I do. I hope that you're enjoying the show. Please stay tuned. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. 
I love puzzles and figuring things out. There's no doubt that my love of video games and mystery books has brought me where I'm at today. My name is Amy Jones, and I'm a cryptologic technician in the U.S. Navy. Many people assume that we are only at war overseas. Our enemies don't just attack using tanks and ships. They're now using cyber weapons. A virtual enemy is now the real enemy, and it's very daunting to imagine how much damage one single person with a laptop can cause. My job is critical in protecting my shipmates. From my computer, I can touch a satellite in the sky, a ship across the world, or a computer in the desert. At the end of the day, a normal person will not realize I've done my job at all, and that's the way it should be. Cybersecurity is what we do, and it is a huge part of the 21st Century Navy. Welcome back to Popular Technology. I'm Sharon Morton. This program is brought to you by BDPA, formerly known as Black Data Processing Associates. BDPA is known for promoting diversity in the information technology industry. Please visit BDPA.org or BDPAToday.org for more information. Mitch Johnson, congratulations on your Lifetime Membership Award from National BDPA. How do you feel about that? Actually, it feels pretty good. Back when I was doing all the things that I was doing for BDPA, I never thought about an award, never a recognition. It's because I had a genuine passion for what I was doing. I cared about the information technology for minorities, and I really, really cared about the youth that we work with and the competition. It kind of fired me up to go and engage other companies and people and corporations to help us to do what we do for the kids, and they did. And when they did, it just fired me up more. <laughs> well, congratulations again, and thank you so much for coming out to the 35th anniversary of BDPA DC chapter. Well, thank you so much for having me. So Monique, you're the national president of BDPA, and we're so excited to have you here at BDPA DC's 35th anniversary awards banquet. How do you feel about being here? Sharon, I am so excited to be here in DC celebrating this 35th anniversary with Perry Carter, the president of the chapter, Earl Pace, the founder of BDPA, and Norman Mays, the founder of the DC chapter. The DC chapter has done so much work with our youth in the past 35 years. It's amazing. They constantly have an HSCC team at our national computer competition. They also bring students from all over the DC metro area to our IT showcase at every conference. It's an honor to be here with Perry to celebrate this occasion with him as for, and his supporters like Microsoft and the US Navy. It's great to see them in the house. Well, we're very excited about this evening. As you know, a lot of the students uh, have shown their work on screen and also in person. But we're very excited about the high school computer competition. This year they finished fourth place at nationals. And the IT Showcase students are advancing with more research papers when they get to their next level. That next level for them could be community college or even college. Uh, in fact, uh, the other um, student uh, is in the University of Pittsburgh right now, so both of them will receive their scholarship this year. And also, uh, we had another young student who won one of the Oracle scholarships this year. He's attending Morehouse College right now. And BDPA's motto has been advancing careers from the classroom to the boardroom. Tell us a little bit about what's meant by that. Well, right now, learning is an everyday experience. And we want the students, uh, like this evening, to be able to connect the dots, continue to network. We encourage people to sit at tables where they don't know anybody, meet new people, uh, understand new challenges. And where there's new challenges, there's always new opportunities. They had some very great role models tonight at each table. Uh, we had different people from different industries at each table. So the young men and women had a great time tonight. And the audience, for the first time, saw their project live and in color. So the students were very happy to deliver that to our audience tonight. There are so many great people here doing great things. I hope you enjoyed meeting them. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of Popular Technology, where people and technology meet. Tune in next time for another informative show.